Loves and welcome to another week in my life as a third year med student on GP placement. My week actually started with an online induction which was nice because I didn't have to be anywhere really really early on this day. The online induction was just for my GP practice so it was just me and the two other students who are on the same placement as me. Because I didn't have to be at the practice until 11 on the first day, I also got some time to have breakfast with Jack. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog, another week in the life of a medical student. We have made it to halfway through my medical degree at Southampton, which means today is the day that I start my first full-time placement. I'm really excited to be putting the lecture life behind me and moving on to actually starting to do some practical stuff and seeing what it's all about and hopefully I won't hate it. This week I start my first placement in third year at Southampton. There are three different rotations we do and we all do them in different orders so there's three different groups of us doing each placement. The placements are GP or primary medical care, surgery and orthopaedics and then medicine and elderly care and I am starting my first seven week placement on GP. I have been placed at a practice just outside Southampton. It's technically in Southampton but it's over the Itchen Bridge so it's a little bit of a journey to get there. Um, the commute is going to take about an hour and I have to get two buses because your gal is 25 and can't drive. That's something I definitely need to figure out this year. Obviously I just had an hour induction to the placement on Teams uh, with the lead of the module. She just told us all about the practice, what we're going to be doing, what's expected of us, professionalism and we got to ask questions. I asked a very important question which was did we bring our own tea bags and she said no. So there are two other students on the same placement as me and one thing I found out this morning that I didn't know already was that I actually am going to be placed at five different practices all over Southampton so I'm going to be moving around a lot. I think it will be exciting going somewhere new and not staying in the same practice for seven weeks so that isn't too bad. The only thing I'm worried about is like public transport because I'm going to have to figure out how to get to each practice on the bus but it's all part of the adventure. The only reason I've got time to speak now is because our one hour meeting didn't take an hour. We have to get to the practice for half past 11. So I need to set off quite soon because it does take an hour. Just wanna make sure I get there and not be late on my first day. I've got a timetable for today. It looks like we're gonna be doing lots of induction activities when I get there. So a tour of the site, getting set up on the IT system, that kind of thing. And then this afternoon, I think I'm timetabled to do some observations. I'm maybe watching some bloods being taken, shadowing a GP. So I don't really know what to expect. I'll very quickly show you what I've decided to wear for my first day. I've just gone quite muted, quite simple. My favorite trousers from ASOS. And I got this black slinky t-shirt from Primark and I thought it was good because you can roll the sleeves up easily um but it's also going to keep me warm because i can't find my only black cardigan and then i'm just going to wear these smart black shoes from next they're kind of like dot martin style without the price tag I made it to the practice a little bit early so popped into the shop to get an emergency snack before arriving for my very first day. I was pleasantly surprised by this view on the way home and it made up for the very long journey which takes just over an hour and a bit in rush hour traffic. I had to pop to campus for a WAMSOC meeting at seven. We were prepping for a mock interview workshop and a few other bits before finally getting home for dinner. And Jack had actually cooked me a lovely ragu, which was so nice of him. And then we spent the evening watching Love Island's first episode and crashing out on the sofa. Here I am on day two. I made myself pesto pasta the night before to stop myself getting a meal deal. And at lunch, I was just recapping asthma because I knew I was going to be observing the specialist asthma nurse after lunch. I actually got to leave a little bit early on this day because the last patient was at 4.30. 
I collapsed into bed for a 30 minute lie down before getting changed for a shift at the pub. I really don't want to go to work. Okay, so Wednesdays are a little different when we're on GP placement. We have weekly seminars with a GP facilitator and they are a mix of online sessions and in-person sessions, but the first week was a 9am on campus. It was quite a small group and I didn't film, but we just got to know each other, compared our GP placement experiences and then spoke a little bit about long-term conditions. The session only ran till 11, so I popped to the library after to do some more revision on asthma and also COPD. We did the respiratory system in first year, hence my focus being a lot on the lungs this week because I definitely needed the refresher. And then I met up with Francesca and we had a very long therapy session and catch up. I've just got home from campus. Um, I've had some lunch with Jack. Here's the current state of the bedroom. Uh, so let's, let's sort this out and then maybe I can actually have a clearer mind. The backpack that I'm currently taking with me to placement it is my Urban Outfitters backpack that I have had for four years um, it is literally falling apart the strap is broken it's not very well suited to placement so I was on the lookout for a new backpack and then the other day I was with Sophie my friend and she recommended a backpack to me for placement that she saw on TikTok and I decided to hold off from buying it and then I realised once I actually went to placement that this just wasn't working. I'm going to unbox or unpack my new backpack. So the backpack brand is called Crosa and it's off Amazon. It came in 24 hours. Ow. Okay, here it is. It's water resistant which is great because it's always raining at the moment and obviously I'm on public transport. So the reason this bag I thought would be really good for placement is because it has so many like compartments in there. It has a space for your laptop, a space for an iPad. I can put my stethoscope in here. I can put any notebooks in here, my lunch. I can put extra layers, umbrella, not an advert. Oh, it has a front pocket as well. Okay, perfect. I'm very happy with this. Not an advert or anything or a sponsor video, but I will link it below. Any of you guys looking for a good bag for placement? Here I am doing a bit more work on lung function tests and I've mainly been using Zero to Finals as my main resource for revision at the moment. I have decided that because it's only my first week and there's still a long way to go till exams. I'm gonna treat myself to an afternoon off uh, in the interest of self-care. And also, honestly, I'm just exhausted and I'm probably gonna be saying I'm tired a lot. And I know that I'm not doing a real job. I'm just shadowing and doing the odd thing here or there. But it's actually so tiring being a stranger in a workplace and being the new person but also being a new person that they don't need to like actually probably get to know because we're not actually going to be there very long that's not to say people haven't been friendly it's just it's just tiring and going somewhere new and getting to know a new place hello dear i'm just catching up with the vlog okay do you want to come say hi mm. Mm. hot every day i've come home and just crashed i've not really spoken to you very much this week Sorry if you can hear background noise, the boys are working from home. I thought I'd just very quickly run you through how the week has been so far and to stop myself from rambling, because I tend to do that, I have made some brief notes on what I want to say. Obviously Monday was my first day. Most of what we did was induction, 
like a tour of the site we went through kind of what's expected of us we went through the entire structure of the practice and the partnership that the practice is part of other than that on monday we did a bit of shadowing i saw a few phone consultations but no in-person consultations. Obviously I met the other students who are on the placement with me. So it's nice to also have people that I can chat to and we can kind of meet up at lunchtime and in between observations and just like talk things through. And on Tuesday we did more induction stuff, um, but I did get to sit in with a GP for a couple of hours and saw quite a few patients in person. So that was when I really felt like it was getting started. And then in the afternoon I did some more shadowing. I thought I would also just very quickly summarise my first impressions. So, so far the placement is very organised. The lady who's doing the organisation within the practice is so on it. She's always checking her emails. She's got this rotor app that she's put us on so we always know exactly where we're supposed to be down to the minute. So it's great that it's really organised and I don't feel like I don't know where I'm supposed to be. But everyone is really friendly. So far everyone's been so welcoming. I also quite like the structure so we do like no more than an hour with the same person um, and it also means that we get to see lots of different types of healthcare professionals especially because this practice is so big it means that I can go and watch loads of different people in the day and also I'm enjoying the fact that there is lots of chances to drink tea and then for the negatives so far so the biggest things I am struggling with the commute is really hard um, it's really far away and it takes an extra hour each side of the nine to five so that is something I'm gonna have to just get used to practice is really big like I said I might not get to know everyone but that's not that can't really be helped and then finally Working part-time <laughs> alongside placement all day is definitely going to be harder than I thought. If you're new to this channel then you might not know but I have to fund this degree myself because it's my second degree and it's not a graduate entry medicine course, it's an undergraduate course. So when I signed up to the course I knew I would have to work and that's been fine so far because I've just been doing lectures but now I'm doing placement. This is a new challenge and I'm just going to keep trying to do my best with it and earn as much money as I can um, while also trying not to get burnt out. Good evening, I have done a gym sesh. I went around with Ellie and we used Megan Grubbs app beyond to decide what to do and now I am making dinner. Jack and I actually, oh, the Christmas tree man, that's so embarrassing. Jack and I are doing HelloFresh this week because for the two of us to do it together, it actually works out cheaper than what we normally spend on a food shop by quite a lot. So we thought, let's do HelloFresh this week, save a little bit of money, which is so strange because I feel like in my head, HelloFresh has always been something that's really expensive. Um, but tonight is my turn. We tend to just alternate who's gonna cook which meal. So tonight I'm making this honey and mustard sausage tray bake. And I just get all the ingredients out ready it's already quite late it's like half eight so we're not going to be eating till quite late tonight but that's because we took ages at the gym but yeah i'm just gonna make that now and then we're gonna watch love island and our friend sophie is actually popping around to watch it with us um sophie used to live in this flat when she was a teacher but she has since left teaching and now she lives with her fiance prad is anyone else watching love island i feel like i'm hoping by the time i upload this vlog it will actually get good but right now i'm finding it a bit dry i feel like the formula for love island is a little bit done now um but i'm gonna stick with it Thursday I was back to placement and didn't really sleep well so treated myself to a chalky croissant to give me that boost in the morning. We have to complete a mini audit as part of our GP placement and the practice have actually been really helpful and basically told us which audit to do. Um, the one we're doing is on frailty so it will just involve us ringing patients and doing a questionnaire with them to calculate a frailty score and then we'll present our findings in a presentation on the final week of the placement. And I was given an hour on my timetable to 
start looking at the audit so I just used this time to do some reading up on frailty and then straight after I had lunch so I decided to stretch my legs and explore the local area it was a bit icy but I managed to get to the shore and breathe in some of that fresh Southampton sea air into my lungs oh and here is Ema and Julia my placement buddies and here we are at the end of the day waiting for the bus home Today was not very successful. I didn't see any patients at all. I only had one hour of observations on my rotor anyway. And when I went to see the nurse I was supposed to be shadowing, she kept telling me it was gonna be really boring because she was only doing like urine tests and stuff. And like, fine, that might be quite boring, but I was just thinking I have literally nothing else to do if I don't watch this. And anything to me is more interesting than doing nothing. Anyway, she kept like hinting at me that she didn't want me to be there and eventually I just took the hint and left. Um, so I didn't see any patients then and the rest of the day I was just doing admin. We had an IT induction. We had that hour that was set out to spend time on our audit, but because we are not really set up on the systems yet, we can't start calling patients for our survey so couldn't really do much in that hour. After lunch the practice was closed for a staff training day uh, so no patients were in and they, all the GPs, all the nurses, everyone was just doing like safeguarding training and stuff. We weren't really involved in that, we were given the afternoon to help on reception and then we got to reception at one o'clock to do our afternoon on reception. I just felt so bad because the admin team were already quite stressed and then they had these three med students rock up who had no idea how to use the systems and they basically just had to babysit us for the afternoon. Luckily they kind of got us doing a task, they showed us how to book blood tests and we just had to work through a list of about 100 patients booking them in for blood tests. It was good because it got us using the system that they use there so it was good to learn how to use it but other than that it was really boring and then luckily because the lady was really nice working on reception she let us go home early because i feel like we were just in her way so that was the afternoon and overall today i just felt a bit disheartened about the placement i don't know tomorrow i'm at a different site we have all three of us are going to the same one so that will be interesting to go somewhere new it's slightly closer slightly closer to here so the commute will be like 10 minutes shorter which is nice we are doing three more induction teams calls and i've got three half an hour slots to observe there is stuff lined up tomorrow and i think next week's going to be better because next week i won't actually be doing any induction stuff anymore i feel like i was so excited at the start of the week but i think i just have just had a bad day and it's put me in a mood about it i think jack's home <laughs> hi I was just talking to myself. No. I think I finally got used to waking up early because today's the first day I've been able to speak to you and have a little bit of time before I leave because I was able to get up 15 minutes earlier today. This morning I'm at a different practice. I'm only there till lunchtime because in the afternoons we have student selected unit which I'll explain about later but basically Fridays are always a half day. Today looking at my rotor about half my time will be spent doing observations and then the other half is more induction stuff. I'm leaving a little bit earlier because obviously I don't know where this place is and I don't always trust Google Maps to help me find a place. So I made it to the new site on time and we actually had our own room booked out for the whole morning to use for our team's induction meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating, I just took the last one last time. Oh, yes. oh, 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 oh,
So I'm feeling a lot better today and the sun is out and it's Friday. My plan was to go home for lunch, but I bumped into Malika on Portswood High Street and I decided to get coffee with her and our friend Jit and distract them from exam revision instead. And I was really feeling like treating myself, so I got this giant donut, which I have absolutely no regrets about. Thank you. Hello. Jit, you're gonna say hi. I'm just not feeling my best right now. Oh, do you want, do you want... <laughs> These two are hard at work. I'm actually wearing tinted moisturizer, are so you? I don't wanna lie. Then I walked up to campus for our Friday afternoon student selected unit. And again, my group is very small, so I didn't film, but we did a two hour intro session on widening participation to university. We discussed different student groups and measures for qualifying widening participation. And it's just a topic that I'm really interested in, especially having a little bit of experience as a teacher in a school and seeing the barriers to entry to medicine and experiencing some of those myself so it's just a topic that I have quite a lot of interest in and then I had a quick dinner at home and caught up with some Love Island before getting ready for work everyone say hi, hi. everyone say Friday. Friday. Everyone say yay let's go work no! <laughs> For a Friday night, the pub just wasn't very busy and the only customers left by 11 were staff. I just work hard at work. Cleaning. <laughs> Ow! They went in my eye! Do you want to be in it? Are you working tomorrow? No, I'm not working Are you? I was sadly on a close, so didn't finish till after midnight, but the three pints of Diet Coke I had running through my bloodstream seemed to keep me energised right until the end. I don't always vlog on the weekends, but I really just wanted to show that I did get some time to chill out at the end of the first week. I didn't do anything med related on Saturday and in the evening Jack and I went on a triple date with our friends Freya and Tanim and Alicia and Oscar. We had a lovely tie for dinner and then went bowling, which was a good laugh, even though I'm not very good at it. Um, they just told us we had to pay 100 quid to fix the lane. So. I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I also hope you got a good idea of what my first week on placement was like. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.